After a number of years since the introduction of JavaScript modules, there is finally native support within Node.js for import statements. However, this requires simple but critical changes to our existing code. So in this tutorial, we will look at what are those changes and how they are supported even by TypeScript. So let's go. To demonstrate ES modules, we have a simple file that exports a simple function that logs a message to the console. This is exported using an ES export and we can import it into another file by using an ES import and then we can invoke this function and now in order to run this code we compile it through the TypeScript compiler by running npm run build which simply invokes TSC and then we have the compiled JavaScript into the lib folder which we can execute through node. Now this works perfectly fine and this is something that you've probably been doing for ages. But let's spice up our output message by installing a very popular npm package called chalk. Now if we jump back to our log module with the hellofam function, we can import chalk as a default ES export from the chalk module. And then spice up the fam part of our log message, for example using chalk.red.bold to make it red and bold. And now if we compile our code again and then execute the compiled JavaScript, we get a runtime error from node. And if you look at the error a bit more closely, you will notice that chalk has actually moved on and is now an ES module and therefore cannot be imported into a common JS module the way that you were probably used to before. And this error will show up irrespective of our usage of TypeScript. So let's demonstrate that for simple JavaScript files as well. In a simple JavaScript file within our project, we bring in chalk using the common JS require method and then use the simple chalk.red method. And now if we use Node.js to run this JavaScript code, you can see that we get the same error that we got from our compiled TypeScript source code. Now the first time that you see this error message, it might be a bit misleading and might tempt you to simply replace your require statements with import statements. So let's try that within a simple JavaScript file. This time we are importing chalk using an ES module. However, if we run this code through Node.js, it will still complain and give a runtime error. But this time the error is that you cannot use an import statement outside of a module. And I think this is the key error that we should focus on solving. Our code needs to be a module. Now, even though we demonstrated this issue using the chalk package, a number of popular packages within the Node.js ecosystem have actually moved on to be ES modules and we would get the same error if we tried to use them. Now, there are a number of things that we could do in order to fix this, but the one that I recommend is that we migrate our code to ES modules as well. So let's do that. Whether our code is an ES module or not is driven by a few key fields within package.json. We have to specify the type property with the value module in order for it to be a module. And once we are a module, we need to add a field called exports that points to our main application entry point. Now this field is actually a replacement for the old main field. And a key difference is that it needs to be a relative path starting from package.json and needs to resolve to the full path instead of some magical common JS lookup. So all in all, this is more intuitive than main and I'm personally happy that it has been replaced with exports. Now that's it for the changes that we needed to make to our package.json. Let's turn our attention to TypeScript and there is a very simple change that we need to make to our TypeScript configuration. That is the module field should have the value node next. So that's it for the configuration changes. The final modification that we need to make is to our source code, which might mean that you have to touch a lot of source files. Fortunately, this final change is pretty simple. Whenever you are importing a relative module within your source code, you need to provide the file extension as well. Now note that we provide the .js extension, even though we are importing a TS or even a TSX file. TypeScript will automatically resolve it during compile time to the appropriate TS file, but in the generated JavaScript, it will have the .js extension. So that is the extension that you use within your TypeScript source code as well. With these changes in place, if we jump back to the terminal and build our code and then execute the generated JavaScript, you can see that now it functions exactly as we wanted with fam now being bold and in red. Now I understand that this was perhaps a lot to take in. So I've created a handy reference that you can look back at without having to see it in action. To migrate your Node.js code to ES modules, Open up your package.json, add a field type module, add a field exports with a full relative path to your main application export and get rid of the old main field. If you are using TypeScript, then make sure that within your tsconfig.json, you have module set to node next. And finally, when you do a relative import for a module within your source code, make sure that you include the file extension that you want to be present within the generated JavaScript. 
I'll wrap things up there. Be sure to check out the other advanced TypeScript, JavaScript and Node.js tutorials that we have on this channel. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.